Hedge End in New Hampshire. Chopper. Who can stop her? The whopper that is Chopper. Robert Wars is renowned for lots of sweat and a few nasty nips. Not here. Beautifully attired, gentlemen. Thank you. Lovely to have you here. Helicopter style, you know, chopper swings around, that kind of you get the gist. Beautifully protected as well. Yes. Very thick. Very thick polycarbonate, bulletproof polycarbonate. We've got aluminium underneath that and a steel frame underneath that. Right, so the axe shouldn't be a problem when I Not see the slightest, you. no. But the flipper? Possibly, if the weapon stops and they get close enough, the flipper could be a problem. So the flipper of Mad Dog is what we need to watch out for. Indeed. A polycarbonate body on a steel and aluminium chassis, very quick at 21 miles an hour, and the 1,000 RPM rotating weapon reduces any opponent's ability to get in close. From Hereford, in Herefordshire, I see you. What if we see you first? Are you nervous? <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> right, what are you most nervous of? I'm not so much nervous about the opposition, more about the reliability of our robot. Okay. <laughs> An exercise in positive thinking here. What makes this the winning robot? We've got lots of driving power. Yeah. We've got, got hopefully a good weapon. Yeah. Um, we've got Streamek, so we can self right. Yeah. Um, it's just. How about the driver? Well. That's the winning. That's the winning. Right. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Colourful, distinctive, destructive, sees everything, misses nothing, four-wheel driven, the axe, but it has problems with remote control interference. From Romford in Essex, Mad Dog. An Englishman come into the arena fun. Now, when you say Mad Dog has a powerful flipper, compare it to something for me. Chaos 2 is rated at at least a thousand pounds. We've got about 1,400 pounds of lift. What have you been practising on? Uh, we've been practising on a V8 engine block which weighs about 100 kilos. Right, and how far can you flip that? Uh, it goes about three foot in the air and about five or six feet forwards. That'll do for me. The others will be nervous then. Very powerful flipper, looks mean, two-wheel driven, has a steel backbone chassis, heat-treated aluminium and polycarbonate shell, but it does lack experience, don't they all? Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams. On the left, ICU, the captain, Nick Richard. On the right, Chopper, the captain, Ian Bennett. And there, the Mad Dog team, Chris Isaacs and Roger Partridge. Matilda's in the arena for the house robots with the blinking eyes, the tusks and the friend in Sir Killalot. Three, two, one. Great pace about this show. This is going to be special, I think. Mad Dog looks mean, ICU goes a-hunting. It doesn't miss anything, they say. The chopper blades begin to whirl. And chopper presumably after a helicopter. Mad Dog turns away. Is it hungry, is it mean, or is it the Mad Dog? A bit of a puppy out there. Chopper has run straight into Matilda's spinning rear flywheel. And a bit of the chopper blade came off, and another bit is bent and buckled, and that's the chopper weaponry finish, and look at the side armour, ripped apart there by Matilda. Bang! Off it flew, the armament. The chopper, then the blade was buckled, and chopper is in real trouble, grounded, I would suggest. Oh, dear, have a look at that. Meanwhile, ICU pushed by Sir Killalot onto Mad Dog. Mad Dog on the arena grinder, gets away, spins away. Killalot's on the brow. Mad Dog shunted into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, tries to get away by... Yeah, right, flipping Sir Killalot. Chopper's on the flame pit. Well, Chopper came out, I think, with, with the one plan in mind. Let's just get Mullard. Let's get absolutely massacred. Let's do our very, very worst. Ian Bennett, Guy Gibson and Tom Gibson out there. 13 year old Tom Burn, baby Burn, and they are doing just that. The Red Bot's out there, has a flame extinguisher, should it be needed. A shake of the head. <laughs> Chopper, that's brilliant. They are all novices to Robot Wars. We shouldn't be too unkind, but they were uh, useless. I see you there in the jaws of Mad Dog. <laughs> Chopper in the background. What are they trying to do? Splendid bravery by all these teams. Chopper. <laughs> Let's
let's take on the angle grinder, shall we now? Because <laughs> we've been beaten by just about everything else. Mad Dog, to me, has done nothing, to be honest. ICU, of all of them, has looked the most impressive. Poor old Chopper was brave, at least. ICU has pressed the pit release. Oh, goodness me, I thought they are going to back straight down into that pit release. They've had some fun out there, the teams, haven't they? The Mad Dog team needs to impress me more. The Redbot is counting them down and out. So will Chopper survive? I hope so, because I think Mad Dog have been rendered immobile and the Redbot is counting down and out. Mad Dog, Mad Dog, they go, and ICU and Chopper survive. What can Chopper do after this? Very little, I would imagine, but Mad Dog didn't do anything. Look at that great hole torn out. So I wonder if that was King. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's a killer lot. Will it just crunch off the Mad Dog lifting device? It's a killer lot has them. Onto the floor, Flipper. You may have seen a hot dog. How about a flying dog? Ooh, and Matilda won't be very happy. Say pardon. Mad Dog through the air. Hit Matilda fair and square on the bottom. And it wasn't a playful pat. And Sir Killalot goes after the dog. The Z team, they call themselves, from Essex. The Mad Dog boys, Chris Isaacs and Roger Partridge. He at the weapons control, Chris was driving. Oh, they're in the drop zone. A dustbin full of bowling balls, golf balls, and lots of little, little, little ping pong balls as well. But they can all create damage. The bowling ball slammed down and bounced away. I think they missed. The mad dog maybe gave them an evil glare. But that's a killer lot's breastplate out there. What on earth is that doing out there? in the centre of the arena. Came off in the battle somewhere. Mad Dog can't take any credit, I don't think. ICU still fighting. Chopper still doing something. I won't call it fighting. And Mad Dog says goodbye to the New Blood Championship. Six. Ooh! Mad Dog takes up bowling. ICU and Chopper, they live to fight another day.